This week at CES, Audi and NVIDIA partnered up to help Audi's cars learn how to drive better using artificial intelligence. Lucky for us, there's this huge parking lot across the street from the convention center, and we're going to check it out. So I'm here in an Audi Q7 with NVIDIA artificial intelligence self-driving hardware and software. All right, let's take it away. And so what they've built is this small track. It's almost peanut shaped and it's got a couple of different driving environments in it. Uh, one is this uh, half circle here with lines painted on the road for the car to navigate. And then as it heads around these two curves, it goes onto a gravel section and then sort of an artificial grass section and then an area without any lines. So it's a bunch of different environments for the car to navigate and it's doing it quite well, hasn't left the track yet. You can see the wheel makes a bunch of small corrections as it goes around and it, it, it's amazing how many little tiny corrections it makes that's unhuman-like. It's a little different every time I hear. And then as it goes around this corner, sometimes they'll take this giant construction sign and put it in the car's way where it used to be able to go without any problem. And so then the car has to look at that sign, decide what to do, and avoid it. Well, I think they're putting the sign out. We'll see if the car, which apparently doesn't have a name, which is a little disappointing. NVIDIA's other car is called BB-8 after the Star Wars robot. So we're coming around this corner. There's a construction sign in the way. We're gonna have to take a detour, figure out where to go. See if the car knows, knows what to do. Oh, it does. The interesting thing about this car is that it's using NVIDIA's artificial intelligence machine learning technology, which is a lot of fancy buzzwords to say that the car learns how to drive like a human would. It learned by watching people drive it around. And it only had about four days of training. They were out here just driving it around this course. And it's a pretty simple course, but if it encounters an unexpected situation, the car needs to know how to deal with it. And with the machine learning, they can do that in a much faster way than needing to program for every single circumstance that it might run into. Audi and NVIDIA believe this artificial intelligence learning technology could really speed up how autonomous cars can learn how to drive and get them onto our streets much more quickly. For a transportation reporter, it's a little hard to believe that this was my first ride in a self-driving car. But it was totally normal. The wheel turned and we went around the corners and it was fine. I didn't feel unsafe at all. It wasn't unnerving. Getting on a highway with traffic might be a little different. But if this is the future, I'm all in. <laughs>